Okay, so I'm feeling a little better today, so hopefully this uh, will go a lot smoother than the last video. So I did some experimenting, and I've got a new LED that I'm going to show for you guys. My goal was to try to make purple as best as I could, only using a tri -Cree. For those of you who don't know, tri -Cree is basically three LEDs, two main ones, and one for the flash on Clash. If you saw my last video, my first attempt at wiring the LED more or less failed because I screwed up the third LED. I, I didn't, didn't know what it was, I was doing. I, I still don't, honestly. I don't have a lot of solder or solder experience with electronics other than what I've been doing on these sabers. But I did a lot better on this one. The Flash on Clash works now. I got all the LEDs wired right. I corrected a lot of mistakes that I made the first time around. And this one, I think, came out really well. Now, I know the best way to get purple is more having a RGB set up. I've also uh, been told that the best way to get a, a good purple is having one of the higher sound boards and using the quad LEDs for like the two blues and then the one red, you get more, you get a better purple. Uh, well, I don't have, I don't have all that just yet, so I decided to just do a little experiment. So I got from LED Supply a royal blue, a standard red and just a regular white flash on clash. What I did was is I put two resistor two heavy resistors on the positive lead of the red. And I think it works for the most part and I have looked at this on camera. It still does come out a little pink, but if you fully drive the red and the blue, it does come more out magenta. I think this looks good. It probably won't look as good on camera, but in person, it does have a purplish look to it. So, uh, I, I mean, it was just an experiment, so I hope I'm not going to get any hate for this. But, again, this is going to be my purplish, pinkish LED. So we'll go ahead and show that to you right quick. <laughs> On camera, it really is hard to tell. Let me turn the sound off. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, again, in person, it does look purple, but it does still have pink to it. Try to get a good close-up right there. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, this is my new custom blade. Uh, the first video, I had a Saber Forge 37-inch Infinity Blade. Well, what I did this time around was got a thin walled blade from the custom saber shop and used the film that it comes with or that you can buy separately I should say and used the tip and I think it does it looks pretty decent I still think that it could be brighter towards the end uh, on camera I think you can definitely see there how it does kind of fade off a little but it's still even throughout it's a lot better than my first build that I did There's the Flash on Clash. The Flash on Clash, I just did a, a white. I remember selecting the cool white, but this looks more like a neutral. Um, it still flashes without the sound, but... I'll see what this looks like whenever it's uploaded, but this does appear a little pink, but everyone I've showed it to so far uh, sees it as purple. And again, in person, it does have... It, it's a purplish pink. That's the really, really the only way I know to describe it. But again, this was just an experiment. I'm not saying this is a right or wrong way to do it. Uh, I think that this came out good. Again, for what I'm needing it for. And I was also just happy to get the Flash on Clash to work. So This will probably be my primary blade for a while until I start working on the more advanced boards and have the color changing and all that. But I just wanted to share this with you. <clears throat> if, you're, uh, if you want to try this, I can tell you what it was that I got at the at the custom saber shop to make this work. I think another resistor would probably be a little better and less resistant on the blue. And again, I don't take it from me because I'm not an expert, but the flash on clash is a little bright for my taste. The purple is almost completely or pink is completely washed out. And I wanted to have less intensity. 
Now, I do believe even on the Nano Biscotti, I think I can change the settings on that. But, um, again, yeah, don't take it from me. I'm not an expert. But my advice was go ahead and put a smaller resistor on the Clash LED or the third LED. And then just resist the, the red in this case. But if you're also, if you have like the Crystal Focus or the Petit Crouton or even the Prism, I wouldn't worry about it because those are all, those will all handle the RGBs and RGBWs. Uh, in that case, you wouldn't have to worry about it. But for the lower end boards, for a single or for like a Tri Cree LED that's not RGB, give it a try. Um, I was really surprised that this worked. A lot of people said that you couldn't make purple. I think this is pretty close. If you're not super picky, or if, or heck, even if you like pink, <laughs> go for it. I think this looks great. Uh, I almost like this as much as I like my orange, but the orange, the red orange is still my favorite color. I'll redo it at a later time uh, to where the Flash on Clash works. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys really like this, and, uh, Stay tuned for more Sabre stuff, and I'm always up for discussion. Uh, if you guys also have any um, questions, concerns, or uh, just constructive criticism for me, or just some advice on Sabres, yeah, please let me know. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's really all I got for this video. <laughs>